This is Josh Kalis, and we are going to review my Transworld Sixth Sense part. Been a long time, bro. When did this come out? 97? 98? I don't know. Something like that. It's been a while. It, it already showed Fort Worth, Texas, Philadelphia, Dallas, Texas. What else we got here? When I first started skating, I like to watch people. So Dude, shit. that 360 flip on flat wasn't just for a 360 flip on flat for intro to a video or something like that. That was actually, we were shooting a how to 360 flip for Transworld. So you can go back into Transworld and you can find that how to 360 flip and that was the tray flip, the sequence that they took for the magazine. The pyramid ledges are my all time favorite ledges. They're hard to skate sometimes, but they just visually, they look so dope. This line was the very first time I ever filmed with Ryan G. I moved to Philly and was looking for somebody to film and shoot photos with and somebody put me on to Ryan G. So I got a hold of him and this was the very first day. And we got a bunch of stuff that day. You'll be, you could tell with the shoes and the shirt. Um, I think this whole video, I think was filmed total of like, I don't know, five days maybe, five days filming. Bump the chain and a few other things were a trip that me and G, and I can't remember who else went with us, but we hopped in his Nissan Maxima and drove from Philly down to Dallas. And man, we had a great time, but all this Texas footage was, was with G. That kickflip back tail, that is a place that we would call the Marble Gardens. It's downtown Fort Worth, Texas. It's literally the best spot. One of my, one of, I think it's one of the best spots in the whole United States, but it's really hard to skate. It's, the security would come out just instantly. And at this time, you had to deal with the bike cops and the bike cops would chase you all through the city. They want to lock you up. But it was, it was a super rad, rad spot. And then here we go. This Nolly back 5-0 down the rail is in Los Angeles. And that's Skin Phillips shooting the photo right there. And I remember going to this rail and being like, what am I gonna do on this thing? Like, I have no idea. They're like, yo, you gotta get a rail trick. I, dude, I don't skate rails, but <laughs> Nolly back 5-0 for some reason. I don't know, it was very, very obscure, but yeah, this is a random one. And this spot was actually, it's in New York City, Chinatown, and it's really dope. It's like you hit a ledge and you go down a four stair, five stair. And uh, I don't even think I popped my tail on that and somehow it's still, it's still flipped and I don't know. Love I'm gonna let this part Perk. just speak for itself. It's got everything. <laughs> Big ledges, little ledges, long ledges, short ledges. Big stairs, little stairs. It's got everything. Skate there every day, unless the cops are there. Look at that cop car. Look at how old this shit is, dude. Look at the cop car, it's a box, it's like a box Chevy. Damn, that's crazy. Dude, love was so crazy, dude. The cops would come, they'd have guns, they'd chase after you. Like, the stories there were just out of control, but yeah, shout out Love Park. I remember like the only thing I cared about with this was the nollie flip up. Cause there wasn't really many people doing straight nollie flips up stuff. And the whole rest of the line, I didn't even give a shit about. It was literally only about the nollie flip. If it was up to me, I would have just had the nollie flip up the curb. But G was probably like, nah, man, you gotta like have more than just that. But, but this fakie 50 fakey flip was the first day I filmed with G. Same day as that line in the beginning, with the back tail into the tile. I actually had more stuff. It was a, that was a good day. <laughs> You know what, I think the original reason why I linked up with G, uh, with G is because I wanted to film something down the city hall rail. The front side flip nose grind down the rail and I just couldn't even do it, like not even close. So that's why we went to all this other shit, I'm pretty sure. So the Supreme Court ollie to drop, I think I was just playing around, but I, I didn't really like, I didn't want to do a trick into the drop because that shit is scary thinking about like getting wheel bite or something like that. So I was thinking like, what could I do that could still be kind of cool looking on film without having to like flip my board into that drop? Oh, let me ollie this rail right before it. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, yeah, cut. He's over here flushing the toilet. <laughs> me too. 
Anyway, hey, this part right here is, is dope because Stevie at the time was like just getting back into the skate shit. And so I really, really wanted him on Alien Workshop with me. I wanted him on DC. Uh, I just love skating with Stevie. Um, we have a, a good backstory before all this stuff, um, like years before, and I would run into him in Frisco all the time and blah, blah. So when we finally get back together, I'm not, I don't want to be greedy with my video part and just be like, ah, oh, you know, it's just me. Like, come on, Stevie, like, let's do this together. You know, like, I love teaming up with people and doing stuff together. So Stevie was like, yeah, fuck it. Let me film some shit and look at how ill this shit is. And if you notice, his board has the same sticker on it. Like, everything was filmed in a matter of a day or two days or something like that. Peep this shit. He has a cast on there. Mm. Damn, yo, there is not another person. Let me rewind that crook shove, cause there ain't another person that can make a no or a crooked grind shove out in front look like that. Damn, and what they cut out? Let me tell you what they cut out. He did the crooked grind shove, and then you can see him squat again, because right after that, he just like did the little shove back like that. It was so dope. I wish they would have put that in there. Look at this line. Blue Reeboks, blue hat, and a purple and blue, like kind of flannel button up shirt. It's so Philly, that is so Stevie. In the, in the switch heel after a little baby push, Come on, man. Watch this hard flip. <laughs> Look, let me tell you one more thing, too. You see us getting ready doing some slap boxing. He was just doing that shit just to make me feel good. Because if you ever shook Stevie's hand, his hand weighs like 20 pounds. And if he really wanted to, when we're slap boxing, dude, I'm telling you, I seen Stevie, uh, Stevie got some hands, bro. He never got me once on accident or something? You know what? He was always really nice to me, man. Yeah. He was always really nice to me because when we like, would start messing around, he was just, yeah. He gave me a pass, basically, you know what I'm saying? Look, this is all one day. That was all one day. Switch heel Manny. Now he knows Manny, I think the crook shove. I mean, like we did this video part total like five days. It was something yeah, super small. Yeah, There's that Supreme Court back tail. So this rail right here was in Dallas. And that's at a gas station in Philly. Alright, so that switchback nose blunt. That switchback nose blunt was at a spot called Burnt Cat. And we called it Burnt Cat because the first time we went there and skated, it was literally like a burnt cat. Like somebody put a start a cat on fire just on the ground, it was just a burnt, burnt up ass cat. So we caught a burnt cat. And then right here, this nollie flip over the gap in the, at the Marble Gardens in Fort Worth. I don't even know how I did that shit, to be honest with you, because it's like this wide. Penny and some of the uh, Philly guys just went down there recently and he called me and he's like, yo, that gap's big as shit. And I'm like, pace it out with your feet. And I can't remember what it was, like nine feet or something like that, or 10 feet. I have no idea how I did it, but there it is. But I had tray flipped it and switch heeled it, nollie flip. I almost fakie flipped it. Yeah, there's like footage out there, almost fakie flipping it, which was inspired by Kareem fakie flipping um, the Bay Blocks. But yeah, the nollie flip, I think I got lucky. Or maybe I was just decent back then. <laughs> I don't know. I actually seen the Marble Gardens coming up, popping up in some footage here and there, some people. I see some kid Nolly healed it. 
I thought that was dope. And then the Brooklyn Banks. Switch back heel to Banks. I feel like every time I went there, I tried to get something over that wall because it was like a, it was like a earn your stripe spot. You know, like one of the ways that I thought I would get respect was going there and, and trying some shit that nobody really did before. But that was one of my favorite spots in the whole world was the Brooklyn Banks. So I don't even think, Landon, when were you born? <laughs> this kid I was skating with wasn't even born yet. Can you believe it? That's crazy. When were you born? Damn, right when you were born. Isn't that crazy? Damn. Yeah, that's it. I think he crushed it. Awesome. Cool.